just sat down in my office to send a quick email before I go and make some breakfast. I wanted to hop on, show my face, and welcome you to today's What I Eat in a Day. We have a busy day today. I have some new favorite products that I've been loving to share with you guys. We have to go show a couple of houses. We have to run a couple of errands, so I'll take you along with me. I have some great new foods and recipes that I want to share with you, and tonight's dinner recipe, you're not going to want to miss it. So if you're excited for another What I Eat in a Day, don't forget to give, my, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not and turn your bell on so you never miss a single video. I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday. Don't forget to check out the description box. I'll link everything I share with you today. Nutrition coaching with personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come and join us there. It's free and it's a wealth of information. All of that will be down in the description box for you. I'm getting pretty hungry so let's go make some breakfast. For my breakfast this morning, I'm going to have a protein smoothie and I'm going to share with you some new supplements that I've recently discovered and that I have been loving. They are from the brand The Reserve. So I'm going to add a couple of those to my smoothie this morning and then I'll tell you about a couple more products that I'm really enjoying. So I did go ahead and add a little ice to my Magic Bullet cup. I'm then going to add one cup of Fair Life milk. That's going to give me lots and lots of protein, which is what I'm after for breakfast. The first product I have been loving from the Reserve is their Beauty Bomb. I've been putting this a lot into smoothies and protein shakes. You only need one teaspoon. It is a skin, hair, and nail supplement. It has maca, blueberry powder, and collagen in it. It adds a really nice fruity flavor and kind of adds a little bit of creaminess to the smoothie or protein shake as well. And I've also been loving adding this organic lion's mane. This is a mushroom-based superfood powder. This is an adaptogen. And adaptogens are really, really good for you. You cannot taste this at all in a smoothie or protein shake. It does not change the texture. You can do one teaspoon or two. I've been doing one teaspoon. And for my protein today, I'm going to do the Devotion Angel food cake. I love this protein powder. It is my favorite one to bake with, but it's also my favorite one to substitute vanilla because the angel food cake is a little bit sweeter, a little bit more creamy. So anytime a recipe or a protein shake wants vanilla protein powder, I always reach for my Devotion angel food cake. I will link Devotion down in the description box for you with a discount. If you love to bake like I do using protein powder, Devotion hands down is the best. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add in just a handful of spinach. This is going to get me some greens for today. And here is what we're looking like so far. We'll go ahead and get it blended up. All right, we are all blended up. It's actually a pretty mint green color. Let me go ahead and get this into a glass and we'll go over the points and calories. Look at how beautiful this is. These are my glasses that I purchased off of Amazon. I shared these in January favorites. I'll link them down below for you guys. They're just really pretty and they are perfect protein shake and smoothie glasses. I'll go ahead and put the points here on the screen for you as well as the calories. While I'm having my breakfast, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the reserve and a little more about the two supplements I've been using in my protein shakes and smoothies and a couple others that I'm loving. So good. The Devotion makes it so sweet and creamy. You cannot taste the Lion's Mane. You cannot taste the Beauty Bomb. It just tastes like a really sweet vanilla protein shake and not to mention that you get in a lot of greens with that big handful of spinach. 
So I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit more about the Reserve. I just recently found this company and they have a ton of different supplement options. As you saw, I did pick up the Beauty Balm. I also picked up the Lion's Mane and I decided to try out a couple of their matchas. So I have the regular matcha and then I have the vanilla matcha. What I love about the Reserve is they are made in small batches so that they remain as fresh as possible. These products come from different parts of the world. They are quality controlled and nutrient packed. They are even third party tested to make sure that they are the highest quality. They also offer vegetarian and vegan options. They have a wide variety of products, including powders, blends, gummies, adaptogens, and more. I'm loving my four products. The matcha is really good. It's organic. It has really good matcha flavor without the bitterness that you can experience with some of the less expensive, lower quality matchas. I've been loving the Beauty Balm. I wouldn't recommend putting it in coffee because it does add a little bit of a berry flavor, but like I said, it's great in smoothies, great in protein shakes. The lion's mane, you can really put that into anything, but again, my favorite way is to blend it into a smoothie or protein shake. And then I do really enjoy the spray hand sanitizer. It has such a good smell. It's kind of a minty smell, not a huge alcohol smell like a lot of the other ones. It actually smells really, really good. These products are exceptional, exceptional quality. They were so kind to offer my friends, my subscribers, 50% off using the code here on the screen. I will put the link down in the description box. All you have to do is click the link and it will automatically apply the 50% off. It's a great way to try out a few of the Reserve products and I truly am loving all of them. You know I like adding supplements to my routine because it makes me feel better and it gives me all the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that my body needs. So don't forget to use the link down in the description box for 50% off. Mommy has to go work. Do you guys need a treat? Do you need a treat, buddy? I have a feeling your brother is not gonna get out of bed. Sit, good girl, there you go. Pumpkin, can you sit? Good boy, buddy. And Diesel, no way he's getting up for this. Diesel, do you want your treat? Mommy has to go. Here. There you go, bud. It snowed again today. This is another reason why we're moving to Arizona. I don't know if you can see, but my own sign is in my own yard. I am off to go show some houses in the snowy, cold weather. I have two houses to show and one more stop to make. Since we're moving, we actually cleaned out a lot of things. We've sold a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace and I'm meeting a girl who's buying one of my Dooney and Burke purses. My mom gave it to me and it's more my mom's style than my style, so I'm selling it and I'm meeting her at a coffee shop kind of on my way home from the house showings. So that'll be nice. We've been able to make enough money selling off things we won't need in Arizona, like our riding lawnmowers, our snowblower, our fertilizer. We don't have grass. We don't need any of those lawn care type of things. We've been able to sell enough to pay for our entire move, which has been great because it is not cheap to move cross country. Not at all. I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars. So we've been able to make enough to pay all of that. So we're super grateful for that. I'll do my best to show you guys the houses, keep you updated on whether or not my clients like the houses. It is currently at 1030 in the morning. I have not eaten since breakfast, but I did bring a snack with me. So I'll flip you around, show you the snack. It may end up being my morning snack and lunch because I don't know when I'm going to get home today, but I'll show you what I brought along with a bottle of water and this will at least tide me over. So I brought that private selection snack board that I picked up in this last week's grocery haul. It has almonds, little chocolate wafers, cheese, and meat. It has 14 grams of protein, 280 calories and of course I'll put the points here on the screen for you. I don't know if I'll just wait and eat a little snack or something when I get home before dinner. We'll just have to see how the day plays out. I wasn't able to film at the first house because the clients were already there but this blue house is the one that we're going to be looking at next. They liked the first house. This one's in a nice area in another part of town but nonetheless a really nice area so we'll see what they think. All right I am headed home. They actually liked the first house better they had two others that they were going to do a drive-by as we like to call it and check out the area and the house so we may be looking at some more we may be writing an offer tonight but if anything I think they're going to be gravitating towards the first one 
I did eat my whole little snack pack thing, so I'm doing pretty good. I may have another snack before dinner. I'll definitely let you know if I do. But I have a little bit of cleaning that I want to do. I actually got a new handheld vacuum. I'll show it to you guys. It's awesome, like it's super awesome. So when I get home, I need to vacuum Palmer stairs, and really, I should vacuum out my car. Where's my welcome committee? Oh, pumpkin, hi! Hi, bud! Lola, Diesel, oh hi, baby! Mommy's home! You guys need a treat, you we need a treat. So I want to share with you guys this vacuum that I was telling you about. This is from the brand Vac Life, and this is a rechargeable cordless vacuum. I'm really excited about this for my car, for in the house. It has lots of attachments. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it. I wanna see how good this works. So I'm actually going to vacuum Palmer's little stairs that he uses to get into our bed because they just get full of hair and dirt. So let's test it out. Hey you, excuse me, do not attack the vacuum please. Watch out Rugrat, watch out. No, Palmer. He has to attack the vacuum. Oh my gosh, this works so good. Wow, it's picking up everything. Hey! Oh yeah, this is great. Hey, no, no, Palmer, leave it in the lawn, buddy. Look at how good those look. Hey, your stairs are all clean, mister. Yes, they are. Wow, that worked really really good can you see all the dirt in there look at all of that dog hair and dirt just from the stairs now i kind of want to try it out in my car i'm going to put on the little attachment that we can use to get in the crevices and let's go try this in the car okay no judgment on the car here but i want to use that attachment i can't believe how fantastic this vacuum works and this attachment fits really nicely in all those little crevices and I'm able to really get under my seat with it as well. Yeah, this is fantastic. I can get under all my pedals and even your seat. So here is the filter. It has dog hair, dust and then look at how much I have in the bottom here. Super easy to clean. You just hit the button to remove the tank, pull out the filter and empty it out. So I want to tell you a little bit more about the Vac Life cordless vacuum. I will list it down below the link, any discounts, discount codes, links, everything will be down in the description box for you. But I will tell you, spoiler alert, it's super, super affordable. It's cordless and portable. It is cord free and hassle free, which gives you super convenience when it comes to cleaning, whether it's your car, your house, or in my case, Palmer stairs. It deep cleans, it has a lot of suction power and a really long battery life. You can actually use it for two hours on a single charge. It comes with professional attachments with two different attachments to better meet your cleaning needs. There's the brush and then the one that I use to really get in between small areas and crevices like in my car. It also comes with an additional filter if you need to swap that out once it gets too dirty. It does have an LED light, which I think is really cool, and that's helpful for cleaning dark areas and corner cleaning. You can, turn, you can turn it on to light up the place that you're trying to clean, making your work much easier. And they do have customer service if you have any questions or concerns or need to exchange or return the product. It's about two and a half to three hours to charge the vacuum up, which is not bad at all, and that gives you at least 20 minutes of usage. And as you saw, it works works really, really well. I mean, it sucked up everything in my car, everything on Palmer's stairs, and I really like this small attachment. I was able to get under the pedals in my car, under my seat, in the crevice of my seat. So this attachment is one we'll get a ton of use out of. So really, really impressed with the Vac Life handheld vacuum. Again, I'll link it down below with all of the information and discounts for you, but definitely grab one. It's a nice portable vacuum. So I just got home and filled up my water bottle and it reminded me to share this product with you guys. I bought this on Amazon. I've had it for a while now and I have really been liking this. This is the 
Protein X Hydrolyzed Liquid Protein. It comes in a ton of different flavors. I have the watermelon. It has 18 grams of protein and 72 calories, and that is in two tablespoons. So what I usually do in a 20 ounce water bottle is I put one tablespoon, so I'm getting nine grams of protein, and it also flavors my water watermelon, which is great because it makes me drink a little bit more water, and it's a healthier water alternative, at least sweetener-wise ingredient wise than those water enhancers. So I have been loving this. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you guys. You can pick any of the flavors. I have only tried the watermelon, but it lasts forever. I've had it for several months and I put it in my water usually one to two times per day. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm also going to grab a quick snack before dinner. I'm going to have a bag of my Quest protein chips. These are the loaded taco. I love these. This is the only Quest chip I like, and these are delicious. I bought these a couple weeks ago in my grocery haul, and I haven't even had any yet. They have 19 grams of protein and four net carbs. So between the 19 grams in my chips and then the nine grams in my water, I have about 28 grams of protein in my snack, which is perfection. Moving update, a lot of you are asking to see kind of the process as we pack up and get ready to move. So we have sold a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace, lots of furniture, lots of random things, and we've just started packing. We're still waiting for the inspection on our new house in Arizona to be finalized, and until that happens, we're just a little leery and cautious about packing, but we did end up selling the gray sectional that was in this living room. This is the furniture we're actually taking with us to our new house. We're also keeping our kitchen table and we've started really cleaning out some of the other rooms that we don't use that often. I've actually started cleaning my office. You can see that my eyeshadow palettes are already packed away. I've cleaned off the shelving. I've cleaned off some of the shelf other than what is seen in my videos. I've also mainly cleaned out the closet in my office. I'm just slowly but surely packing that up. The bed and table and lamp and everything we had in this room, we sold as well. So we have a system here where we're packing up in one bag a lot of clothes that we're keeping. We also have the items that we're selling our suitcases, all of that that we're keeping. This big bag is full of pillows, and then we have just a large garbage bag in here too, and we've taken everything off of the walls, and I've started taking everything off the walls in the spare bedroom too. I just haven't taken down the large picture, so my next step is to pack up all, you know, the small stuff, the more decorative stuff in this office, and we also cleaned out this closet and started to organize it. We are keeping all the blankets for packing, but we've cleaned out the whole bottom of this closet as well. So we're getting rid of everything that we aren't going to need in our new house, including our riding lawnmowers, our snow blower, our generator, all the things that we use here that we won't be using there because we don't have any grass. And like I mentioned, that's really helping us pay for our move. So it's been really good to get rid of that. Next up is my closet clean out. So I'll take you guys along with me on that for sure. And then of course, once I move, we'll do some shopping and I'll take you with me there. A lot of you in the comments of my life update video said that you would love to see more vlogs. So I'm definitely planning on that. I'll incorporate some what I eat in a days with the vlogs. We'll buy some new clothes. I'll take you guys with me when we're shopping for home decor for our new house and all the things. So you'll get to see Arizona as we see Arizona. And it was a renowning yes for me to vlog our trip down there. We are driving with our dogs. I'll give you guys a complete update on that. Probably in next week's what I eat in a day, but I'll vlog the entire thing, show you how I stay on track, how I make good food choices, and of course the states and cities that we pass through. So you all wanted the vlog, so you'll get the vlog. For dinner tonight, we are having tater tot chicken pot pie casserole. We are pairing together some of my favorite foods, chicken pot pie and tater tots. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some frozen tater tots, a big bag or two small bags of frozen mixed vegetables, light butter, two cans or one large can of low fat cream of chicken soup, a small onion, you can either use ground chicken like I am, or you can use chicken tenders or chicken breasts, whatever you prefer. My ground chicken is from Imperfect Foods. Don't forget about Imperfect Foods. I'll link it down below with $20 worth of free groceries. No minimum order. Just take your $20 worth of groceries and run. So I'll link that down below. You'll need some light shredded cheese and some milk. So to get started, you're going to need quite a large pot because everything 
pretty much goes into this pot. So I'm going to add one quarter cup of light butter, the diced up onion, both cans of cream of chicken soup, half of a cup of milk, and for seasonings, we'll need garlic powder. I didn't even pull those out in the beginning, but you will need some garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Give that a quick stir. We're going to cook this over medium heat until it is heated through. Also in a skillet, I'm going to cook down my pound of ground chicken. You would also want to cook your chicken breast and shred that as well. Once it is warmed through, go ahead and turn off the heat and we're going to add half of this large bag of vegetables, about 16 ounces. We're also going to add in one and a half cups of light shredded cheese, which is what is left in my bag. Give that another quick stir. I added the cooked ground chicken in with the rest of the pot pie mixture, stirred that in really well. This looks delicious. I have a nine by 13 baking dish here that I sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to go ahead and add in the mixture, spread that out nice and even in the bottom of the baking dish. Now we're going to top it with the entire bag of frozen tater tots. If you want to lower the points, you can always add less tater tots to the top, but honestly, Troy is gonna be the one eating the majority of this. I will probably skip the tater tots and just eat the filling. So because it's mainly for him, I'm going to really load it up with tater tots, but you can only add about half the bag and you would still have a nice tater tot topped dish. It is going into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until heated through and our tater tots are nice and crispy. Dinner is out of the oven. Let me just tell you how delicious this looks and how amazing this smells. Let me go ahead and get this plated up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner. Doesn't this look amazing? Chicken pot pie paired with tater tots, yes please. I will go ahead and put points and calories serving size here on the screen for you, but this is dinner. For dessert, we're keeping it simple. I'm going to exceed my protein goal for today. I'm having one of the ratio strawberry yogurts. These are so good. 25 grams of protein. They're creamy. They're sweet. They are one of my very favorite yogurts and just a great way to get in lots and lots of protein. So that is my dessert for tonight. that's a wrap on today's what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, sharing all of my really good food, some new recipes and that dinner. You need to make that dinner. It was absolutely delicious. You will find that recipe on my recipe website. It is linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching. Don't forget to consider personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching links, discounts, information for everything I shared with you today and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come over and join us. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. Happy Wednesday friends. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.